The interstellar comet 3i Atlas has survived its closest approach to the Sun, but it has undergone extraordinary transformations that challenge everything scientists thought they knew about comets. Just before perihelion on October 29th, when the comet was only about 220 million kilometers from the Sun, roughly the same distance as Earth from the Sun only a little further, it suddenly brightened at an incredible rate. The comet became more luminous than ever before with an intensity that followed an inverse power of seven, an extraordinary figure that pointed to something very unusual happening on the comet's surface. This third interstellar object, discovered in July 2025 and thought to be seven billion years old or even older, has now completed the most intense part of its journey through our solar system. It's really a time capsule, releasing material that's billions of years old, giving us unprecedented insight into the ancient history of the galaxy. During this crucial period, it was completely obscured from Earth by the Sun and could only be observed from planets like Mars or through specialized space instruments. The SOHO and GOES-19 observatories became the only witnesses to record the comet's dangerous journey past our star. These instruments, which are specially designed to block out the bright light from the sun, allow scientists to study the solar atmosphere. This time, they served a different purpose, tracking whether the comet would survive this violent encounter or be completely burned up by the sun's giant plasma storms. Some researchers even hypothesized that its disappearance or change in orbit could reveal something unusual in the solar magnetic field, a mystery that scientists are urgently trying to solve. What they discovered was truly intriguing. The comet not only survived, but displayed behavior unlike anything seen before in cometary observations. What amazed scientists even more than the brightness surge was how steeply the brightness increased. Unlike most comets that only glow gradually as surface ice turns into gas, Atlas showed something different. The dramatic increase pointed to unprecedented activity on the comet's surface, documented by researchers in a recent report. But because it was so new, no one knew what was behind it. One thing was clear. The closer Atlas moved toward the Sun, the more its emissions surged. What puzzled scientists even more was a mysterious color shift that made the comet appear bluer than the Sun itself. This marked a turning point in observations as the shift suggested the presence of volatile molecules like cyanide or ammonia, which release bright visible light. The blue glow from these gases outshone the red light reflected by dust, giving the comet its strange, intense hue. This wasn't just a simple color change, but evidence of complex chemical processes occurring as the ancient ice was exposed to solar radiation for perhaps the first time in billions of years. Interestingly, this was already the third color change recorded for Comet Atlas. Earlier, it had glowed with a greenish tone for several weeks, and the cause of that color is still unknown. Before that, it had displayed yet another coloration, creating a pattern that has astronomers searching for explanations. This pattern shows that Atlas is highly active, releasing materials at a rate many times greater than most comets in our solar system. These signs support the theory that Atlas may be an ancient traveler formed on the distant edge of a long lost star system, wandering through darkness for billions of years before finally encountering sunlight. The dramatic color changes suggest layers of different materials being exposed and activated sequentially as solar heating penetrates deeper into the comet's structure. The newest data from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed another perspective on this mysterious object when viewed in infrared wavelengths. The findings confirmed that Atlas's surface has endured extreme radiation during its long journey through interstellar space lasting billions of years. This isn't just surface damage, 
but a fundamental transformation of the comet's outer layers. Over that immense time span, powerful cosmic rays from across the galaxy bombarded its surface grain by grain and molecule by molecule, gradually changing its composition through countless chemical reactions. Each impact, each particle collision, each wave of radiation left its mark on the comet's structure. This constant exposure created a dense ancient crust estimated to be 15 to 20 meters thick, about 50 to 65 feet. Scientists consider this layer a kind of geological record of the universe, preserving traces of every impact and ray of energy. This crust may include chemical clues from the solar system's earliest days, information that could reveal conditions in space billions of years ago. The crust of Atlas has been shaped for billions of years by the storms of space. Researchers believe it may hold the key to understanding how the raw materials of the cosmos evolved. This thick shell represents a natural archive of interstellar conditions across vast stretches of time and space. They are even raising a larger question with profound implications for our understanding of life in the universe. Could organic compounds, once transformed by cosmic rays, play a role in creating life elsewhere in the universe? This comet, then, is far more than a frozen object drifting through space. It is a memory of the universe itself, carrying the story of billions of years that sunlight is only now beginning to uncover. That ancient exposure also helped solve one of the comet's earliest mysteries, its unusually high amount of carbon dioxide. Early measurements showed carbon dioxide levels far beyond anything expected, levels that didn't match any known cometary composition models. Scientists were initially unable to explain them, leading to speculation about the comet's unusual origin or formation conditions. But new infrared data from the James Webb Telescope now suggests the answer lies in the same long period of cosmic radiation that created the thick crust. As the comet wandered through the galaxy for billions of years, constant exposure to energetic particles had an unexpected effect on its chemistry. The radiation gradually turned surface carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide through a slow but steady process of molecular transformation. Over billions of years, this slow process enriched the outer crust with carbon dioxide, creating the distinct chemical signature now detected by our most advanced space telescope. The transformation wasn't uniform, but occurred in patches and layers, creating a complex chemical landscape across the comet's surface. For astronomers, this changes the way we understand cometary chemistry fundamentally. It suggests that the gases and ices released from comets are not untouched remnants of the early universe as once thought. Instead, they are materials that have been chemically transformed through eons of radiation exposure. In other words, what we see today is not pristine matter from the birth of star systems, but reworked material shaped by cosmic time itself. This leads to another crucial question that researchers are now pursuing with urgency. Could layers of untouched ancient ice still lie beneath the hardened crust, holding the true record of the comet's birth? These deeper layers would have been shielded from cosmic radiation by the outer crust, potentially preserving original materials from the comet's formation. If the heat at perihelion melts part of the outer shell, it might expose those hidden layers for the first time in billions of years. This would allow scientists to study chemical evidence from the comet's original home in some distant star system, providing a window into conditions that existed when the comet first formed. Another discovery made Atlas even more fascinating to planetary scientists. It contains slightly more nickel than other known comets, a difference that might seem small but could have significant implications. While not yet fully confirmed through multiple independent measurements, 
This finding hints that different star systems may form with varying amounts of heavy elements. That idea opens up a new path for studying how planetary materials differ across galaxies. In this sense, Atlas is not just a comet heading toward the Sun. It is a time capsule preserving the complex chemical history of the universe, with each new observation bringing another clue to how cosmic matter has evolved over time. A recent study has offered an intriguing new perspective on why interstellar comets such as Atlas are so significant to our understanding of the universe. These wandering icy bodies, which journey across the vast distances between star systems, are more than just cosmic visitors passing through. They could be the missing link in the mystery of how planets form, a fundamental question that has puzzled astronomers for decades. Traditionally, scientists have believed that planets are born from countless collisions among dust grains and rocky fragments orbiting young stars. The process begins with microscopic particles that stick together through electrostatic forces. Over millions of years, these tiny particles clump together, gradually forming larger bodies that eventually become planets through gravitational accretion. Yet this classical model faces a major problem known as the meter barrier. Once particles grow to about a meter in size, they tend to bounce off one another or break apart instead of sticking together. The physics changes at this scale, with collision velocities becoming too high for further growth. This poses a fundamental question that has challenged planetary formation theories. If the process stops at the meter scale, how did entire planets ever emerge? The new theory proposes that interstellar comets might have provided the breakthrough to this seemingly insurmountable problem. These ancient objects expelled from their original planetary systems billions of years ago travel endlessly through interstellar space. They drift through the darkness between stars until they encounter new star systems by chance. When such a comet passes near a young star surrounded by a swirling protoplanetary disk of gas and dust, something remarkable can happen. The star's gravity can capture the interstellar visitor, pulling it into an orbit within the forming planetary system. Once trapped, the comet could serve as a seed core, a stable solid body much larger than the meter-sized barrier that stops normal accretion. This captured comet would then attract surrounding dust and pebbles through its gravitational field. This process would allow matter to accumulate far more efficiently than through random collisions alone. By bypassing the meter barrier with an already large object, it enables the rapid growth of planetary embryos that can continue gathering material. Massive stars with their stronger gravitational pull could be especially adept at capturing these interstellar wanderers. Their deeper gravitational wells would make it easier to trap passing comets and incorporate them into forming planetary systems. This might explain why giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn, worlds made mostly of gas and ice, are more frequently found around stars larger than our Sun. The process of capture and seeding could also influence the diversity of planetary systems observed throughout the galaxy. It offers a more dynamic and interconnected picture of cosmic evolution, where material flows between star systems, rather than each system developing in isolation. If this model is correct, it suggests that planet formation is not merely a local process confined within a single solar system. Instead, it may depend on interstellar exchange, where comets from one star system help seed planets another. Though this idea remains theoretical, it carries extraordinary implications for our understanding of planetary formation. If interstellar comets truly act as planetary seeds, then the story of Earth's own formation may have begun with one such traveler. Over 4.5 billion years ago, a comet drifting between the stars might have strayed too close to the young sun. It could have been captured and embedded itself within the early solar disk. From that seed, dust and gas accumulated, 
forming the planet that would one day give rise to life and to us. It's a vision that sounds like science fiction, yet it suggests a profound truth about cosmic interconnection. All worlds, including our own, may share a common ancestry rooted in ancient cosmic dust that once floated freely between the stars. Following its perihelion passage, Atlas was successfully imaged by the Lowell Observatory's Discovery Telescope on Halloween night. This observation marked the beginning of a new chapter in its study, confirming the comet had survived its close solar encounter. The observations brought good news for continued research. Despite earlier speculation that the comet might fragment under solar stress, or even be an artificial object. As some fringe theories suggested, Atlas remains intact and continues to behave like a normal comet, albeit an unusual one. Amateur astronomers in the Northern Hemisphere can now spot Atlas through small telescopes during the pre-dawn hours. It appears as a faint shimmering tail that stretches northward against the background stars. As it draws closer to Earth in the coming weeks, its brightness is expected to increase gradually, providing clearer views and richer photographic data for both professional and amateur observers. For many observers, this is a rare chance to witness a comet that originated far beyond our solar neighborhood, a frozen messenger from another star. The opportunity to observe an interstellar visitor with backyard equipment has generated excitement across the global astronomy community. Across the scientific community, multiple observatories and spacecraft are tracking Atlas simultaneously in an unprecedented coordinated campaign. On Earth, instruments such as SOHO and PUNCH are recording its motion from their unique vantage points. The Hubble Space Telescope continues to capture detailed images of the comet's structure and composition changes. From space, the James Webb Telescope offers detailed infrared imaging that penetrates through the dust and gas surrounding the nucleus. Missions like Lucy and Psyche currently exploring regions near Atlas's path, are positioned to collect complementary data from different angles and distances. Together, these coordinated efforts provide an unprecedented opportunity to study an interstellar comet in real time. They're revealing its chemical makeup through spectroscopy, its physical structure through high-resolution imaging, and the physical processes driving its activity through continuous monitoring. Astronomers are using the Stellarium software to track positions in real time based on NASA's precise ephemeris data.